The next one is the kidney. Kidney. The kidney is very important because in the in now we believe that the kidney store the sexual energy and also boost up the immune system. Okay, boost up the immune system. And the, um, the, the left kidney connecting to all the glands and the lymphatic system and all the glands in the system. Okay? So the kidney are weak, it, it, it end up with losing a lot of energy. So I'll rub the hand warm. So we can hit the hand and and massage. And massage the kidney. And hit the kid and massage the kidney. And lightly tap your kidney. Lightly tap your kidney up and down. And cover your kidney and feel your feet touch the ground and feel your breathing inhale. Feel your feet touch the ground and breathing inhale. Your soul breathing and kidney breathing. Okay? Earth have the same resonance of our energy. The same energy is stored in the kidney. Okay, we call it the original force. Earth have the same frequency, it hurts, and the, and the body also have the same reson, resonance of 8 hertz per second. So there are connections from the soul to the kidney. So you breathe the kidney, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Breathing to your kidney, inhale, and exhale. Just breathe your kidney. Feel the earth energy rises up and charge into your kidney. Feel the earth energy rises up and charge in your kidney. Like you're pulling a thread, pulling the silk, breathe into your kidney and charge into your kidney and spinning the energy around your kidney. Like very gentle and soft, breathe into your kidney and, and like something with the silk thread spinning around your kidney. Spinning around. So very gentle, very soft. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now put your hand back. Still aware, still feel your, your hand cover your kidney and breathe to your soul and breathe to your kidney. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. I always charge my kidney every morning. It is very important. This is a very important part. Kidney, like the battery, can be charged. And if the kidney no electricity, uh, it don't electrolyte and separate the waste material in our blood. They need to be charged in order to separate all the waste material and urine out. But when the kidney no electrolytes, no charge in the kidney, it don't do the work, and we have no energy. Okay, and that's why it's so important. The next one we're going to do in while well with um, Titan, the batak. In the in the West, you also have the special name for Titan your ass. <laughs> and um, it's a, actually it's an exercise. You know, Titan your ass. You know? so um, so while uh, you squeeze. Your, your buttock tight, and you stand on the toes, and releasing it. This one in, um, in, the, um, 
are very important also for men. Okay? That um, because in what we control the ejaculation. Okay? And uh, for lady, you know, after her baby, the, the buttock is big. Because the, is the <laughs> because the base, because, because the baby in here, your base is getting bigger, so you need to tighten it up, okay? So that's why, the, so that's why tighten your ass is very important. <laughs> in the West, you think that's a very bad word, huh? But that is a very important word, okay? So let's try it out, okay? And um, when I do, my master had me do every, um, every day, 100 times a day, okay? And um, I do it in, in anywhere. You go out on, a, on the street, you stand in there, do nothing, just tighten your ass. You know? <laughs> and, uh, it's good for, to remind yourself. <laughs> okay? Cool. So you stand on the toes and squeeze all the muscle on your buttock tighter, tighter and squeeze up inside you and stand on your toes. And at as long as you can help, and exhale. Inhale, tighten your ass. Your hand also lightly tighten and squeeze hard and tighten your ass here. And release, relax, relax the muscle. So yin, yin part, a lot of nervous system, especially when you tighten it, you tighten on your sacrum and your buttock, and you feel pain. Sometimes people, you feel pain there because the nervous system are clogged, okay? And this exercise are very important part for men also to control the ejaculations. So if you do a uh, hundred thousand times, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hundred times a day, hundred thousand times, <laughs> okay? Inhale, tighten, stand on your toes, and tighten your buttock tight and squeeze into your sacrum. Okay, tight. And your hand tight. And exhale, relax. Exhale, relax all, relax all, relax all. Inhale, tighten. And exhale. Hold it, hold it longer. <laughs> <laughs> Not tighten enough, huh? And, uh, and exhale, relax. Relax it, okay? And um, very important part, this part needs to be tightened, okay? And uh, you can, yeah, that means, uh, I, know you, I don't know why they invest inventing that word for, <laughs> tighten the S for, okay? So it must be very important, no? In the West, okay? When they say, tighten your S, you know, that means you have to be, everything tightened up. <laughs> but that is, but when we heard that one, you never actually tighten the ass. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but if you really tighten the ass, you change a lot of things, you know. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Let's sit down. <laughs> now, so uh, uh, the next one is also very good also. Uh, they call kid your butt. <laughs> and it's true, you know. Okay. There are very important points in here, all the nervous system in here. And um, it's very important for, oh, I don't know how you're going to do that here, okay? So you actually kick your butts like this. Yeah, it's a very important part to, to kick your butts, so nobody can kick your butt. <laughs> <laughs> and this one, you know, when they do, you always go like this and you kick it, 100 times a day. <laughs> and it's very good for you, okay? In here, you have all the nervous system that go into the sexual organ, okay? And, um, and, um, and the tendons, okay, the leg tendon. It was so much about the leg tendon, okay? So you're able to kick you. Some, some people cannot kick it, so it's okay. So keep on, keep on doing it every day. One day you kick it. <laughs> One day you get your, you kick your butt. <laughs> yeah, so you hold your hand like this and Mm -hmm. So you hit, hit kick, okay. kick your butts. Yeah, you actually kick your butts, you know? And uh, you kick every day, okay? And that will help tremendously the nervous system here. It's exactly the nerve here that go right to the sexual organ. 
Okay? And uh, you're strengthening, strengthening your, your leg. Okay? And um, in the morning, you go to the park, you can just walk and kick your butts. <laughs> it's one of the very good exercise for, for the uh, squeeze your ass okay? and kick your butts. You know? Uh, it's still good. One day you kick it. <laughs> you try on, you definitely get it, and you get more flexible, and you exercise your all the circulation in this lo lower area. It really improve the circulation of it. Okay, and um, we're gonna do uh, one more exercise, and that is the end of the uh, vit sexual vitality, and it's very important practice. Okay, and um. um and I like to do it in the morning. Um, so we are, uh, for lady, um, usually you have to use the eggs. So um, for men, you don't need anything. You have already, so you can <laughs> Okay. And um, in the Taoism, we believe that the tongue and the sexual organ are very connecting. And the sexual organs are connecting with the tendons. The tongue, also connecting to all the tendons and connecting to the heart. So if the sexual organ getting, for men especially, when the sexual organ become <clears throat> shorter, it, that means the tendon in the back gets shorter and it pull you. So it started to work like this, okay? Because the tendon on the back getting shorter. So that's why in the Taoism said, stretch the sexual organ every day. The penis and the testicle is very important. And um, when you stretch it, it's getting longer, you know. <laughs> and this is the real uh, true one, okay. And uh, when I preaching in French, and when I was teaching the exercise, I said, oh, you know, one of the students, his family are drawing the Jesus picture, and he said, I know now, Jesus had very long penis. <laughs> and I said, why? He said. You know, uh, when he draw the picture of Jesus, and uh, they, the whole family emphasized that you have, when you draw, when Jesus stands, you have to pie many pie of clothes over here. So that means they don't know why, because he is bulking out big on here. So he said, oh, I know now, Jesus has long penis. You know? <laughs> That's why you have to pie many clothes over there. <laughs> Believe me or not, this is okay. <laughs> okay? So um, for a lady... Um, uh, using egg, and um, we don't have egg here, but um, uh, Lee, you have egg with you? Yeah, yeah I have egg there. So um, egg is very good, and I use, especially for a lady. It's, um, in the, this practice in olden time, so the whole practice, a lot of them is for the uh, uh, king, uh, princess, and queen, and concubine, especially the egg exercise. So they have different kind of egg. The wooden egg, stone egg, jet egg, silver egg, and the higher ones is the golden egg. See? So that is very heavy. So if you can hold a golden egg, that means you're very advanced. And uh, also in what with the, uh, not only for sex, but in what with the, 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 the healthy and the vagina. When the vagina tight, the face tight. When the vagina loose, the face loose. And that's what um, the, the in a doubt text they're talking about. Yeah, it's very so. If you want to be the face more tighter, get your <laughs> you don't have to pull face all the time. Okay, so um, so um, for men, you no, know, so the same men and women, you split the tongue out, and you grab the penis, and you suck your stomach in, and you pull your penis out. Now, when you pull in the beginning, you really feel a back, back pain because the tendon connecting to the back. Okay? And when you pull it, you, when the tendon tight, you really feel the back pain because it started to pull the penis in. Okay? I, I taught in the Switzerland, and uh, one, one lady came to me and said, Master here, my husband's get, penis getting shorter and shorter because he has <coughs> diabetes. 
So he said, before they this long, not getting this much. He's he, he afraid that one day going to disappear. <laughs> 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 so I tell him that, do this, you know. Tell your husband to do this, okay. And he go, and after six months, they go back. He said, oh, Master Chia, my husband's penis is getting longer now. <laughs> 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 so I think it's important, you know. Yeah, because if your tendon getting shorter, the back getting, getting back like this. So man, when you get the tendons shorter, and you pull the back, and you walk like this, getting older. Okay? So you don't want to walk like this, and the penis disappear. <laughs> <laughs> getting too short. <laughs> you do this. Okay? Lady, you need to use egg. It's very good exercise, you know. Especially when traveling around, you can just do it, you know. Put the egg in, squeeze. You have the string there. You use the dental force. You put the dental force in and make a loop of it. So you put the big side in, and you start to, to, to use the string, and you inhale, exhale, squeeze tight, and you put, pull, pull the egg in, and you pull the string, and you cut the egg. It. In the beginning, you cannot squeeze them. Okay? So you're going to fall out. So you put in back again, and you start to, to train it. If you train it every day, uh, it started to be really know how to contract it, okay? And it's help, it helps tremendously for everything. Tuning out your sexual organ, exercise, everything in here. Because so much problem in a lady because this area we ignore too long, okay? The, the, the belief system that this is dirty, this is sinful, don't touch it unless you have children, that's it, you know? So that is a very big culture taboo, and, uh, and people think that um, touching the sexual organ is not right, or playing with it is not right. And especially when you talk about exercise them, oh my God, how are you doing that, you know? <laughs> but we go to gym doing muscle, big muscle, and uh, you're doing big muscle every day, and this one getting smaller. What, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just that way. <laughs> and uh, everybody wants to be macho, and they want to be good in sex, but uh, they're getting big, smaller. And, uh, and the whole problem we have is we get, we get tumor, cancer. It's so much now. Because we just totally taboo, guilty, suppressed, and sinful to touch about it. Definitely, when you do it right, it's not taboo, not sex, uh, not, not sinful, not anything. You exercise your sexual organs. So anything wrong with exercise your sexual organ? Sexual organ is part of your organs, okay? If you have a good mind, good intention, exercise them, nothing wrong with it. So um, this one, actually, I like so much, okay? <laughs> In the morning, it's very wake you up. In the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you go to the toilet, take your pen out and inhale, exhale, <sighs> suck in, Very good exercise because you keep on exhale, 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 you become a vacuum and you draw my air in. <gasps> when you draw my air in, because you pull the sexual organ, the chi know that you want more chi into your sexual organ. It's just like when you make your exercise your bicep every day and the body knows that, oh, you exercise every day, we want it bigger. <laughs> so the body knows it. The same thing, you pull them and the body says, oh, you want more chi there, it's in there. <laughs> so it's very good, huh? <laughs> Very simple. <laughs> now, so you separate the testicle uh, together and you hold the testicle for men and the lady will use the egg, egg, your egg, okay? So you hold the testicle, inhale, exhale, <sighs> suck your stomach in and pull. A lot of energy go up to the brain. Okay? A lot of energy go up to the brain. And it's very good exercise if you can do it every day, you know. Just a few times only. Okay? 
because you activate all the hormones go up to the brain. Yes. Uh, when you finish inhale, you hold the egg um, and exhale, then you stop that. Okay. If the egg falls out, you put it back again. That's it. And uh, you do the second time because when you pull the string down, and the uterus, vagina, and uterus have to go counteract with the force, so you have to pull up the uterus by itself. And the vagina pull up, the uterus also has to pull up. Because the uterus is the biggest muscle that you have, very big muscle. And they have a lot of power inside there, tremendous power in there. Okay? Can you go through the breathing cycle? Again? Okay, so you inhale, you, if you grab the egg and the penis, the head of the penis, and you exhale. <sighs> And you, you hold your breath, no breathing. And you suck your something up, eat, and pull the penis out, the egg out. Now you inhale. And exhale with the lung sound. Okay, so this is a very good exercise, okay? Let's sit down. For the lady, when you put the egg in, and you pull on the lentil force, so you squeeze the egg, so you squeeze the egg, so the vagina squeeze as you put the egg in, so the vagina hold the egg, and you pull the string, you squeeze tight on the egg, and you pull, pull straight, you pull down, and you pull, suck up your abdominal. You suck up your abdominal, you suck up the abdominal, so it pull you, how you pull more uh, the, the egg in. And when you finish, <clears throat> and exhale. Okay. Yes. For men, are you contracting the PC muscle? Um, the, uh, you pull the penis, including the muscle. Yes, the PC muscle also. You pull up, and your stomach suck in to help pull up more. And that will activate your prostate gland. That will activate your prostate gland. Okay? Yeah? When, when you're empty, is that called pulling down to heaven? You get a chi, <clears throat> and you exhale with the heart, lung, lung sound. Okay? Yes? No, we release everything. <clears throat> release everything. So you draw more air into your system and you exhale. 